Xandar offers a variety of entertainment that reflects our diverse population. Like your planet, Terra, Xandar is dependent upon water for life. But these fleet vessels aren't all coolly calculated function. There's also beauty in the design. Notice the complex geometric patterns in contrasting colors. Blending the glass of the cockpit seamlessly into the metal of the rest of the ship. The Nova Corps began with just 500 members serving at those reserves. Today, we are call him Peter J. Quill. Noted, thank you. So, it was your idea to help Xandar? More or less. I am Groot. Okay, okay. It wasn't exactly my idea. Is this the famous Groot? <laughs> Every Xandarian knows how you gave your life to save the rest of the Guardians that day of the battle. Tell us in your own words how that felt. I am Groot. <laughs> you gotta forgive him. He's got what you call a limited vocabulary. What he's trying to say is, he did sacrifice himself to save us all, and Xandar. Fortunately, he's plant-based, so he grew them back. And they grow up so fast, especially when you water them. It would appear so. So back to my original question, whose idea was it to save Xandar? It was Quill's. He had this half-baked plan, and we saved his butt and his story. Are you rude? Okay, it was three quarters baked. Well, we were all heroes that day. I am Groot. I'll be back with more of the Guardians in a moment. Xandar was nearly destroyed by a boat who chose not to honor our history. Without the Nova Corps forces and unusual allies like the Ravagers and the Guardians of the Galaxy, you would have never missed your effort. To discover more about these allies, let's return to my exclusive interview with the Guardians. It's not often one gets to interview the most dangerous woman in the galaxy. Welcome, Gamora. Wait, who called you that? Peter Quill. You mean Star Wars? Oh, I was told he hates that name. Oh, yeah, he does. He really hates it. So how did you Guardians end up teaming up with the Ravagers? They normally only work for themselves. Well, uh... Well, we liked them. And was that part of Peter Quill's plan? You mean the plan that didn't go according to plan? We were completely up on that. In the end, though, we were able to defeat the road crew. But we couldn't have done it without Quill. That's right! And here he is now. Peter Quill is hanging out to see about this. Um, you know, I guess, I mean, it was really a group effort to execute my plan. Thank you, Gamora. I'm always happy to be here to you. I would love 
to hear more about how Tara was chosen for this Writers of Xandar tour. Well, that was totally my idea. And Epcot, too, because I love that place. It's awesome. I went there as a kid, and I, I, I mean, I cannot wait to get to go back and ride Horizons. Also, want to see the energy dinosaurs, and of course, hear the veggie, veggie fruit fruit. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure it will be wonderful for you to relive all of those memories again. And it's thanks to the Guardians that Xandar is reaching out to other cultures across the galaxy. Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on? Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome. Epcot Terrence, I am Centurion Tal Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this.
I mean, of course she did. No LeBron, they're ready. Excellent. What you see before you is the cosmic generator. And in just a few moments, we'll be activating it so you can experience for yourself what's happening. I'm not sure. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Cheer your monarch. Go to Code Red. Prepare the fleet. And call the guardians. Now. There's no cause for alarm. Turn off that alarm. I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's up, Nova 4? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? What did we think of that? That thing's gotta be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Good question. Yeah, who do you think took it? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. That is a big man. I need to alert Nova Prime. I have been watching terrorists for years. This species has failed. Over and out. Could this day get any worse? 